secretly want to get one of these. Also. Yeah. Okay guys, I feel like I need to like set you down because my my hand hurts or my arms hurt so bad because of the workout, but um, I kind of wanted to show you. So I'm calling this my like, I didn't get to meal prep, lazy, have stuff on hand, busy rest of the week meal prep because it's going to be Wednesday and um, I'm going to go grocery shopping on Saturday again to actually prep some food, but because I just needed some food on hand. I grabbed a, well, quite a bit of things. It cost me about 80 bucks. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys regardless. So I picked up these. I don't know. Hi, Samson. Um, if you guys have ever tried these, they looked kind of good. Crunchy puff sticks. I don't know. They just seemed kind of tasty. There's 25 calories, um, 8 grams of carbs, 1.5 gram of protein. Um, 2.5 grams of sugar, zero fat, and that's for one stick. I don't know. I just thought it was kind of different and fun. Um, I was so excited to see these bananas because I absolutely love, you guys tell me if you're the same, um, I love green bananas. Like, the less ripe, the better for me. <laughs> um, and then this was what I was most excited about because this is the stuff that's like super easy and fast for me. I got some of this riced sweet potato, um, and I thought that would make for great, like easy, you can just throw it in the um, microwave, but I love how it says perfect substitute for rice, which I love rice, so, um, but I think I like how it's like chopped up, so I feel like it would be really, really good. The texture of it would be really, really good. Um, I picked up some organic broccoli cuts. I like to just have these on hand in the freezer. Um, I picked up some more of this Daya cheese that I love, you guys know. Um, I was really excited about this. It's a red quinoa, couscous, and vegetable blend. And it's got carrots and tomatoes, peas, spices, red and yellow bell peppers, Israeli couscous. Just looked really, really good. What are you guys looking at? Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. And then I picked up another one. This one was called Upsides All Natural. This one is called Path of Life Organic Quinoa and Kale. So I thought that looked really, really good. And then I picked up these Roasted Organic Sweet Potato Slices by Earthbound Farm. But those looked really, really good too. Okay, so then I also picked up some organic chicken patties just to have on hand in the freezer. Um, some smoked chicken and dooley sausage. So this is just chicken, but it's got like a spicy flavoring in there. So haven't tried that one yet. Picked up some organic turkey burgers. Again, these are just things to have on hand because I have not meal prepped. Um, I picked up some coleslaw. I love coleslaw. Um, I picked up some of these uh, grapes. I like to have these on hand when I'm like craving something sweet. I'll actually put them in the freezer and then um, eat like a few of them just for something sweet, really, really good. 
Okay, so this I thought was interesting. Um, they're expensive, but they're already ready to go grilled chicken, and I'm probably gonna have one tonight. Um, and it's it was $3.99 for um, basically three chicken breasts, which I thought was pretty good. So um, they're already ready to go. And then I also picked up some of this. Um, I've made this before, but they have it already. It's just got olive oil in there with some almonds and rosemary, and it's pearl couscous. Um, so that was really, really good. And then you guys know I love me some broccoli slaw. I throw this in all my sautés and things like that. Um, I picked up some of these for the weekend. I love these pop chips. These are the ridges. And then I also, I tried, I just tried these, the veggie straws, jalapeno, and they're delicious. But I have to be careful because I'll eat like a ton of these. So uh, 40 straws is one serving. And I like to keep those on the weekend. I like to snack. Um, have some fun snacks. Remember I told you guys it's about balance. So, um, and then I picked up some more of this Ezekiel. I like this Ezekiel low sodium um, bread and I'll, I'll replace two slices of these um, in the morning when I don't want to have oatmeal. So, I'm starving. I hope that that was fun for you. I'm going to make me some dinner and, um, and then I got to sit down because my leg, I rolled out my leg today and it's like probably bruised, but... Anyways, if I don't uh, talk to you, I just good night, and um, maybe I'll show you my dinner, depending on what I decide to eat. All right, bye. I got these guys all dressed up. Hi guys, and happy Tuesday. Um, I just realized that I hadn't picked up the camera again today. I'm just like not in the uh, mind frame to do it lately just I think it's just because I've been so busy but I want to pick it up because I want to say hello and I'm also eating a protein pancake I've tried that cinnamon batter cinnamon cookie batter and it's it's really good I want to do it one more time because I think I overcooked my pancake but um, I put a little bit of the buff cake I got it at Olympia it's the birthday cake flavor and um, it's really really good it's an almond almond butter spread so um, anyways, it's about 4.30, um, Jenna, uh, if you're watching, um, had mentioned that she wanted to know, like, what time it was, and I guess I, I don't really, I don't really say, because I think sometimes I forget, and then I never know when I picked up the camera, so, um, it's about 4.45 right now, on Tuesday, I had just gotten home from a meeting, and, um, I ended up just coming straight home and not to the office, um, so I just wanted to say hello and also that um, I'm eating this delicious protein pancake. So I'm about halfway through that. I'm um, just catching up on some emails. And then, um, am I blurry? No, okay. Um, and then I am going to get ready for the gym. So um, I've been playing around with like my makeup lately. I've just been having way more fun. And also I wanted to tell you guys, so I never order like any collabs or anything like that. I usually, um, I work with a few things uh, from Sephora and then when I'm out, I'm out. Um, I also have a few drugstore makeup things that I love. Um, my obsession for a while has been the Kat Von D palette. Um, yeah, eyeshadow, eyeshadow palette, I can't remember what it's called, but um, I've just been really loving it. It's all matte and I find that I can use it every single day for work and it's appropriate and I like it. And then also I use Amber Rush, um, one of those little, I think it's by Maybelline, I think. Um, I use that. Um, and then I have a bunch of other like drugstore, like e.l.f. contour I love. Um, I use a MAC shadow for my eyebrows. Um, and then I uh, can't remember the name, FX um, concealer and contour palette as well. So. Anyways, what I was trying to say was I totally ordered, because it was like $12, um, the Kathleen Lights Morphe palette. And I ordered it before all the drama on YouTube. I was looking through my subscription box and like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what all the drama's about, uh, about this Kathleen Lights palette. But now I can't wait to get my hands on it so I can actually see if it's good. I've never tried any Morphe shadows. So let me know if you guys have below. Um, I'm curious to see, like, I, I'm not a makeup artist or anything, but um, I certainly do a lot of makeup, and so I'm just curious to see, like, actually how it is, so I will tell you guys. Um, I also ordered a few Morphe brushes, just because um, they were really inexpensive and I needed a few brushes, so I figured while I was on there, I would just grab them. Um, 
my brushes are kind of all over the place. I use some real techniques. I have some Mac brushes. Um, I have some really cheapy brushes that I got at Walmart. I'm not really particular or, you know, I've got some elf brushes I really love. So I just like what works for me. So um, anyways, I just thought I would let you guys know that because I thought it was funny. And then I'm going to open up a package I got at First Form. I'm pretty sure my multivitamin, my um, um, my fish oil, my full mega, and my um, M Factor Goddess are in there. And for all my 30-day 30, 30 challengers, I, I really hope that, like, if you get anything from First Form, if you want to try anything, it would be those two things and um, and pick up a protein. The Formula One is going to be the protein that you're going to want to use the most, which is your post-workout. And that's it's really probably one of the most important. But the Level One is really there for when you can't get in all your protein or you're just kind of sick of eating chicken and fish and turkey and whatever it is you eat for protein, whether it's beans or... Um, you know th things like that i i think if you're sick of that that's when that that level one protein comes in and that's when I, that's why i usually have a protein pancake right about now because you know i've already had my lunch and all that and um i like to make a cup of coffee and you know just enjoy my my protein pancake so hopefully i'm not rambling too much but um i just wanted to come in and say hello i am going to the gym tonight so i will take you guys with me and i'm going to try to do upper body even though I'm like so sore. Um, we've been dancing like a lot and I've been sharing that with you. And thank you guys so much for the comments and for um, saying that you've enjoyed it. A lot of those are just rehearsals, so we're not really like full out dancing, but I've just been really, really loving getting back into it. And um, I'm excited about our performance in a week. So I'm gonna do some upper body. And then I have a really, really exciting announcement coming later this week. We gotta get the go ahead from the company, but um, it's coming and we're uh, probably gonna be going to LA in a couple weeks for the launch party. So I will keep you guys informed. I'm trying to get all my videos edited as fast as I can and working on the Thrifters Anonymous videos. Um, but I just wanna say hello. And then I just checked out Poi. If you guys haven't watched Poi um, on our Team Let Em Have It Facebook group. She also started a YouTube channel and she's vlogging the 30 day challenge and um, her first video was really, really great. And it, it kind of just made me really feel just like humbled and excited because sometimes I don't know if I'm doing a very good job of motivating, um, especially when I don't feel super motivated. But you know, it's like the only way I know how to do it is just to share with you guys and like tell you how I'm feeling and what I'm doing. Um, you know, there's no like magical secret here. It's just, Know, kind of figuring it out on your own and poi just she made a really good comment and i'll leave you guys with that and then i'll go eat my protein pancake um she said that it's not about you know staying on track and and focusing and doing all these great things when you're motivated it's about doing all these great things and staying on track when you're not motivated when you don't feel like doing it that's probably the best feeling and that's the most satisfaction that you can get and it's so true it's the days that you don't want to do it and you do that gets you closer to that goal and um, really motivates you. So just thought I'd leave you with that. I will leave her video down below. If I forget to link it, just let me know and I will. And yeah, so I'll take you to the gym when I'm ready. I'm going to enjoy my protein pancake and relax. Right, guys so i just wanted to hurry up and open up those packages because i think one of them i think if i'm not mistaken i ordered a um what is it called uh tank top from first form so um i was gonna get my little knife and actually like try to open this with you guys since i can't like do any formal videos um every time i try to do a formal video it's always a disaster Oscar, stop eating Sashi's food. Oscar, uh-uh. <sighs> okay. So, let's see if I can uh, set you down here. There we go. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to open up is the first form box. And, like I said, I think I ordered... Um, Pretty sure I ordered multivitamins, so I just can't remember. Yes, I ordered multivitamins. Okay, so it's just 
Basically it comes like this. That's how the box looks. And here it is. So I ordered the M Factor Goddess. And yeah, this is the multivitamin that I take basically uh, three times a day. And ever since I started taking this multivitamin, I, I don't know, I just, I really love it. And when I'm not taking it, like, I think I know I was why I was so tired the other day. Because um, I didn't take my vitamins. And it's literally like my body just, I can feel it, you know. Um, especially when I'm really, really stressed out and I'm doing a ton of things. So, got my multivitamin. Okay. Alright, so, the next thing I got... Um, was a tank top and it's the, basically it's the same material if you guys have seen the pink and like the neon green one that I have um, I just got a black one I was excited you know you know my love for black um, so excited so I just got a medium I love how these like curve at the bottom so I don't know if you can tell but they like curve and then go up it does it on the back too and then it just has the first form logo on the back and it just says first from the front so I'm probably gonna wear this to go work out today um yeah so oh and I totally bought I was gonna put this on my laptop I bought a decal and I am first form decal so it was like three bucks or something like that anyways you guys know you can um, use my link my link has changed I think I've mentioned it before but it's the firstform.com slash Shana Emily and that's um, the link to get free shipping and obviously support me and um, yeah so if you guys are interested let me know if you have any questions on any of those but okay now I, want, I really I'm excited do I have enough time yeah, I have enough time. I'm gonna open up my package from Morphe. I'm pretty sure this is from Morphe. Yeah. So let's see how let's see how this fares. Um, let me just move you guys back a little bit so you can see. So I'll just put that there so I know I got everything. It, it has a bunch of these uh, popcorn thingies. But I'm just gonna go ahead and pull out the brushes. Oh, that's weird. Okay. So let's look at the brushes first. Um, okay, so the first brush I ordered, wow, I didn't realize I ordered this many. Um, okay, the first brush I ordered was the Morphe E36. And this one is says it's used for detail crease, but I thought that this would be pretty soft, so it just looks like this. You guys can see that, but it's just like a really, it's like kind of tapered. Pretty soft, but I thought that would be good for um, like the corner of my eye and like in the crease a little bit when I'm trying to really get precision. So that's the first one I ordered. I'm gonna go ahead and put these back in here. The, okay, the next one is the E18, which is um, the round crease brush. But I thought this brush, God, I don't even remember why I ordered some of these. The E18, so I thought this would be a really, really good precision brush for um, the crease as well. And then also, I thought this would be really good for um, like a contour, like a detailed contour, but really just for the, the detailed in the crease because I don't have a lot of like smaller brushes. All of mine are more, like fluffy and big, so I wanted more like detailed. So those are those two. Um, the next one I ordered was the M432, and I had one from Elf, but it like fell apart. And it's basically a um, a flat liner. It's called the Flat Liner Definer M432, and it's just really, really. You can see that flat. You guys can see. And I 
wanted to use this for like right underneath my eyelash, my under eye, and then, you know, for a liner. Also to um, deposit like a dark powder or um, shadow for a liner. So I thought that would be really nice. These are really, really soft. I mean, I don't know how they work, so I will tell you um, once I use them. And then the next one I ordered was the M501. And I'm pretty sure I got this one for highlight. It just looks like this. And it's got like a taper at the front, so it like goes up and then it tapers to a point. Um, not sure if you guys can see that. So yeah, I just I kind of liked how it was just perfect for like the um, the highlight. And I use a little fan brush, but I'm not like a huge fan of it. <laughs> um, so silly. Uh, so yeah, I thought that would be good. And then also I thought it would be good for like powder underneath my eyes because it just kind of fits perfectly um, to set my under eye. But I don't really use a lot of powder, to be honest, because I feel like it dries my skin out. Um, and then, last but not least, I got the M523, which is a... Oh, I like the shape of that. Oh, my hair already came out. Curious if it's, like, going to fall out, if all the hairs are going to fall out. We'll see. Um, so this one... I got as a contour because the one I'm using right now just keeps falling apart on me. It's like a cheapy brush from Walmart. Um, it's very soft. I like that it's like a little more dense so I can really get in there for the um, contour and then, you know, that whole situation. So we shall see. Um, they were really, really inexpensive, like $4, $5, $6.00. And I have a bunch of the Real Techniques ones too, which I really, really like. But I just, like I said, I wanted some smaller, more more specific brushes rather than like the main. Because I have really, really nice main brushes. Like my um, crease brush, I have a shadow brush, and all those. So those are the brushes that I ordered. It's like a really big box for something like this. But I guess they don't want it to break. So this is how the palette comes. And I bought this, by the way. I did not get this for free. And I think the palette ended up costing me... There's no prices on this thing. I want to say the palette ended up costing me like $13.50 or something because I had a discount code um, that I used. I think it was Kathleen's discount code. So, and that applied to the whole order, which is cool. But yeah, the palette was so cheap. I was like, eh, let's just try it out. How cool, how exciting. All right, we'll see. We'll see how exciting it is. Um, so it just comes with this little Crate Inspire Glam. Thank you for your support, Morphe brushes. And then it just says Kathleen Lights palette, which is really, really cute. She's so cute. I'm so happy to be sharing this palette with you guys. It was so fun to think of all the different colors I love wearing and putting them together. Can't get enough of it and I hope you feel the same way. You guys mean the world to me. Thank you for always being loving and supportive. I actually just discovered her to be honest with you. She's so young and um, cute and I can't remember how I found her, but anyways, let's see. So this is the palette kind of Actually, I'll even pull out my uh, Kat Von D palette because I actually have that with me right now. Obviously hers is like, you know, this is her palette. I don't know if you guys have ever seen. As you can see, I use it like every single day. I love this palette. Um, but it's got the same like similar feeling, feeling to it. Um, the back is gone. I used to tell you what shadows they are, but anyways. Well, it looks really, really pretty. So it just comes with this um, sheet over it. There's no mirror, which I'm totally fine with because I use my own mirror. I actually use this mirror right here. I hold it. But this is the palette. And um, yeah, so I guess I could kind of like, let me just swatch one of these. Right away I see a color that I feel like I could use every day. It's, this one right here. 
let's just oh, that's really really pretty let me see if I can focus this you guys see that really really soft and pretty actually I don't know if you guys you guys can see that I feel like I would totally use that color a lot um, let's try this one right here because I feel like this is another one I would totally use a lot that's really pretty too actually it's like a bronzy oh wow okay that's really pretty bronze let's see I'm looking at the shimmery ones right now because that the um, Kat Von D one is all matte. So, also this one looks really, really pretty. This like brownie. Oh wow, that's really pretty. It kind of reminds me this one's a little more powdery, but it's a really pretty color. You guys can see that. Obviously, I don't know how to swatch anything, so it's a disaster, but it kind of reminds me, I usually will go into this color right here, or this one right here, so it kind of reminds me of that one. Um, curious what this one looks like, it's like a cranberry color. Oh, that's really pretty, it's like a brick red. Gee, that would be really, really pretty, like all over. I like how I'm just sucking at this. It's pretty. It's like a cranberry color. I have to go to the gym after this, so. Oh, by the way, these are my favorite. I don't know if you guys ever go to Costco. These are my favorite wipes, which reminds me I need to get more. Um, I love how, like, wet, they're just really wet and they're really big, too. It's like a huge square. You guys can see that you just clean this clean this off anyways um yeah so far so good this green color is really beautiful um i haven't really watched anybody use these yet so couldn't tell you but it's really really pretty and i'm not sure how well you're you're seeing this but I mean, it's like really, really pretty. I don't understand why everybody was so wackadoodle about it. This, I love this dark green. It reminds me of a color I got um, by that Maybelline, the Infallibles, that's what it is. I have a bunch of these ones. And this was, this green one reminds me of, it also reminds me of a MAC color that I had. Anyways, these are really, really pretty. I am very excited to try this out. Um, let's try the black. Everybody said the black isn't very black, but to be honest with you. Oh, I see what they mean. So it's black, but it's definitely not as black as the Kat Von D. Let's see. Um, can you guys tell a difference? I bet you, you can't. This one's Kat Von D and this one is the Morphe. They kind of look the same, right? The Kat Von D palette was like 50 bucks, if I'm remembering correctly. 45 or 50 bucks. Anyways, I'm really excited to try this out. I will share with you guys when I get ready, maybe tomorrow morning. Um, I don't know if you guys would be interested in something like that. Most of you guys probably don't really give a shit. You probably just like, where's your meal prep videos? Um, <laughs> but, uh, I love makeup. Obviously I do a lot of different modeling gigs and different things like that. So I always want to have, you know, stuff like that. So I'm going to keep the box because I'm probably going to take some. Wow. I must've been filming because my camera just shut up. So, um, must have been filming for a while. That's all my stuff here. Got all my, my Morphe stuff. Okay, so 
thank you guys for watching my little impromptu haul. I'm excited. I like getting new stuff, especially when they're super cheap. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get ready for the gym. One, two, three.